behind me over there is quite a small library of books. It's one I built over a few years. And if I said to you, go and find a book on fashion design, it'd be really easy because we can pick one out just there. So that's not too hard. And in a bigger library, it's not that much difficult either because you've got index cards. And we know that fashion design books are that section over there. However, if I said to you, find a single passage, say about the way that design is about creativity and design is about uh, promoting ideas, making the user feel something, then you are gonna have problems because while you might guess it's a design thing by the title, you don't know what book. Is it in a fashion design book? Is it in a more general design book like Philip Stark over here or where? And even if you know it's from a fashion book, you've got loads there. So this is where referencing comes into being an incredibly useful skill because we're not just saying there's a passage out there or there's an idea out there, or there's a picture out there. What we're saying is there's a passage and it's exactly here. So you could say it's exactly in the Philip Stark book, which is written by Philip Stark. It's published by Taschen. It's called Stark. So Finding it in a library or on Amazon, it's gonna be incredibly easy. And if we said that our passage was, um, or our picture was of that chair, we can say that it's on page 116. So that without knowing anything about design or Philip Stark, you can pick up this book from any library it's in or order it online, turn to that page and you see the image. Now. If I'm writing a critique about something, saying that maybe, picking something at random, um, how you design a collection, and if I'm saying something which is controversial or you might not agree with, or you do agree with and you want to yourself, then you can find that place in that book and look for yourself. And you can say that my interpretation is wrong or it's right. And we're also saying that it's not my idea, it's coming from this source, coming from this author. This applies to websites, applies to journal articles, books, conference papers, and any other media you can think of. Without referencing, we can't do this. So that is why referencing is so important. Now you could say, as long as we have the information in there, it's okay. Well, why do we need to have Harvard system or IEEE or whichever system you like to choose? And the reason is, if we say take Harvard and present it in the same way, it doesn't matter which university you're from, uh, when you went to university, which country you're in, you'll know the first part is always the author name in the way it is. You know the year it is, you know the book, you know the conference, you know the magazine, you know the month, you know the issue, you know the number, you know everything and you can look at it and understand. If we start having different kinds of um, referencing mixed in, so maybe the first half of your reference list is in one format, then the last half is in different, or just mix them up, then you may not know what each of the reference means. So when you need to find information, you might not know where to find it. Whereas if everything's the same, everything's standardized, we know that when we want to find information, that's where it is in the reference, it's always going to be there, and I'm always able to go forward and access the information. So that is referencing and why it's so important. This whole playlist is about using Mendeley as a tool to help you um, reference better, which means get all the information from all your sources, such as books or journal papers, into one source, and then put them in your Word document in the right way, which means in the right format, the right style, the right information in the right place. It's a really great skill, but thanks to Mendeley, it's incredibly easy. So check out the rest of the videos in this playlist, and hopefully you'll master the software in no time. It's great to use, and as an academic, I would not be without it.